enable your users to be able to remotely change the passwords via OWA. For example, here's my user object in Active Directory. I'll go to Properties, Account, next one along, and select User Must Change Password and next logon. What will happen by default when I connect to Outlook Web Access or Outlook Web App as it's now called Continue and log in with my domain credentials It will say the username or password and you have entered is incorrect which isn't terribly good. So post service pack 1 you can now change the password on the fly however to do so you need to make a minor registry change. So if you open the registry editor by running regedit just maximize that pull it across so you can see what we're doing. And the registry that you're looking for is HK local machine system current control set services ms exchange space owa so if we scroll down a bit further there it is there so select that on the left hand side then over on the right hand side to enable the change we need to create a new D word value. So right click new D word 32 bit and the name of it is change expired password enabled exactly as you see it on the screen. Double click it and change its value data to 1 to enable it. Click OK. Now even though we've enabled that it won't take effect until such time as the IIS or the Internet Information Server Services has been restarted. So to restart that, if we drop to command line, we can do an IIS reset space forward slash stop. You can of course go into services and restart the IIS admin service if you so wish. I'll produce the same result. But let's start that back up again. You can, of course, reboot the server, which will do the same. But in a production environment, that's not always easy to do. So let's exit out of there. Now, this time, hopefully, when we connect out at Web Access with the same credentials, it should tell us that our password's expired. And we need to change it. There we go. Your password's expired, and you need to change it. Pop in your domain user credentials, your old password, your new password, confirm your new password, hit submit, your password has been changed. Now if we click OK it should take us back to the login screen and we should, all being well, be able to log in with our new changed domain credentials and there we are logged in with our password change don't forget to visit us at www.peaknetlive.com thanks very much for listening